Hello, I'm Karen Algisma at Centennial Hall in beautiful Lake Cowichan, and we are gonna give you a little sneak peek of a very funny version of A Christmas Carol. And you're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. On today's show, we find out what happens when you combine a passion for singing with a great cause. And Meg Cuthbert hangs out with the family who put their heart and soul into their business. All that and much more on Go Island. and thank you so much for coming to Lake Cowichan with us today. That's right, Go Island loves a good road trip. So we've driven out to this beautiful, beautiful part of Vancouver Island. The fall colors, the, the, the smell of autumn in the air. It is a great place to come and hang out and it's gonna get better and funnier right yes, here in Lake Cowichan. Because what's <laughs> happening here uh, starting November 18th? It is going to be a Christmas Carol. Yes, it is. And it's going to be one like you've never seen before because the Katza Lakeside Player Society is doing something very different with uh, Charles Dickens' little tale. It's a farce. It's a farce. <laughs> so I play an actor. Yes. Which is playing Ebenezer Scrooge. Merry Christmas, Uncle. Bah, humbug. Christmas a humbug, you can't mean that. I do indeed. What reason do you have to be merry? You're poor. Oh, come now, Uncle. What reason do you have to be grouchy? You're rich. Bah, humbug. Oh, don't be cross, Uncle. Well, what else can I be when I live in a world filled with fools? Why, what's so merry about Christmas? Uh, <laughs> it's a time of year when you, you, you have to pay bills, and it's a time of year when you're a year older and not a penny richer. If I I had my way, why, I, I would take every fool who said Merry Christmas would be boiled in his own Christmas pudding and buried with a stake of holly through his heart. Uncle, what a terrible thing to say. Uncle, what a terrible thing to say. There are, Uncle, what a terrible thing to say. There are many things. When you're doing a farce and you have Scrooge as your role, I mean, you can just play that oh. up. There's so much silliness to be had. And we just don't laugh enough in life, I think. No, no, we don't. We don't. So you can come and you know what I like about this <laughs> particular theater experience? You also get to eat. Laughing, eating, yes. great theater, mm. being in Lake Cowichan. Yes. It doesn't get better than this. And November, it's dark, it's a little dreary. This is a wonderful opportunity. Oh. Get some friends together, come, have a good laugh, do a little road trip, let someone else do the driving. It's a great way to do it, absolutely. Um, now, Raja Kabli met a woman who has taken her love of helping people and her passion for singing, put them together, and created something magical. Oh, we're in beautiful Lake Cowichan today, and we are talking about A Christmas Carol. That's right, that quintessential play that you want to see every year, but Lake Cowichan has uh, decided to take a different spin. Because the Katza players, they can't just do it normal. No, you have to find a unique way of telling Charles Dickens' famous tale. Tell us, uh, tell us a little bit about what people will experience when they come see this this version of A Christmas Story. <laughs> well, it is a farce, and it is a company who is doing it for the 15th year, their 15th farewell performance, and I play the diva who has decided that the play cannot go on without her. Yes. So therefore, she is going to be sick. I get that. Yes. Unfortunately, the play does go on without her. And like and all good divas, she shows up. Yes, she does. Yes, and all hell breaks loose. <laughs> of course it does, because that's what divas do best. That's right. <laughs> and I do it very well. <laughs> is it a lot of fun? To, I think I do. <laughs> is it a lot of fun to be in a production that's kind of a farce about community theater? Yes. 
because it's sort of like all your inside jokes get to be played out on stage That's and all the right. silliness and yes. all the the fun that you have backstage actually gets to come out stage and yes. show everybody um, that that sort of that fun and that camaraderie that you get with community theater yes. it's a play within a play basically yeah and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun and you know if you haven't surprised. been to Lake Cowichan in the winter this is such a beautiful time of year it to come is. up here make a weekend of it or take advantage of uh, packages that have been put together you can have dinner in Victoria Wilson's will take you out to Lake Cowichan enjoy a wonderful production and they'll take you home it's a fun little field trip bars open so you can have a few drinks you're not driving Absolutely, and uh, it feels like you go on a little holiday. It's like a, li a little escape. Um, we are going to meet a few more of the actors in just a moment, but first, Meg Cuthbert met up with a family that puts their heart and soul into their business. We have put our walking boots on and walked all the way to Lake Couch and watch we drove. But it is so fun to be here. I always feel like I'm on holidays when I'm oh, in Lake Couch and yep. it has that that feeling to it. But if you want to come and enjoy this beautiful part of Vancouver Island, make sure you come and see the play that's going to open the 18th of November. Uh, it's a twist on our favorite story, the Charles Dickens A Christmas Carol, but this is going to make you laugh and uh, and really celebrate community theater. Tell us the, the characters that you play. Uh, I play a character named Teddy, who is also portraying in the Christmas Carol. He's portraying Uncle Scrooge's nephew Fred, and along with many other characters. along with many other characters. Yes. Now, just to explain to viewers why you're playing so many characters. Uh, what's the what's sort of the framework of this play? Well, the framework is that it's the 15th annual farewell performance of the Sticks Upon Thump Theater Company. <laughs> 15th annual, you know, you could, we've been saying goodbye for an awful long time. I love it. And tell me some of your favorite scenes that just crack you up that when you're, when you're rehearsing. Um, all of them. <laughs> all of them. That's quite a lot, actually. There's uh, one scene in particular. Uh, I don't want to spoil it too much. I know. But uh, one of Teddy's characters is involved in a scene where the understudy is trying to remember her roles and her lines, <laughs> and she's trying to read them off of a handkerchief. <laughs> it doesn't matter to you at all that another love has replaced me in your heart. If you want to be part of the Wilson's Transportation package where you get to go out for dinner and be driven to the play here in Lake Cowichan, go to the website on your screen and get all the details. Now we have to take a very quick break, but please stay with us when we come back. Uh, more in here, beautiful Lake Cowichan, and we're going to go whale watching in Cowichan Bay. I'm surrounded by talent here in Lake Couch, and that's right, the Cats of Players Society. You, every year, put on phenomenal productions. I don't know how you gather so much talent in such a small community. It must be something in the drinking water, but uh, this year you're doing a farce. Uh, I, under, I understand that you're the understudy uh, amongst other characters. For you, what's been the best part about being in the farce version of A Christmas Carol? Well, it's very different getting to play somebody who doesn't know their lines, and that can be rather fun because you always have experiences as an actor <laughs> where you need to improv or ad lib, and so having an excuse to do that for the entire play is it's pretty cool. Only on gaining money. But my feelings for you have not changed. You have changed, Ebenezer, so I am releasing you of your Promise to marry me. Oh. It's, it's stuck. Can you help, please? Just try and get it off. Oh. Uh, uh, keep the ring. And tell me the role that you're playing. I play the role of Dame R Rowena Middleton Lewis. And I'd say she's the only normal character in the entire play. Because ah. she's the only one whose role does not get messed around with 
with other actors not being there or not or, or being there when they're not supposed to be. I love it. So who should come see this unique, farcical, fun version of Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol? Everyone. 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 Everyone come and see this. Now we have to take a very short break but go nowhere because next we're heading to Duncan to find out all the cool things that are happening there. So we took a little hop, skip, and jump from Lake Cowichan to Duncan because there's so much happening in the Cowichan Valley. We couldn't, we couldn't just stay in one place. And we're in Portals right now, which um, is this really cool, funky little uh, heaven of art here. Tell, us, tell everyone who you are and what you guys do here. We are part of the Cowichan Valley Arts Council. Portals is our art space, and we hold rotating shows uh, throughout the year in our space, bringing art out to the community. Tell us about the Japanese woodblock print kimono show that's happening here at Portals. Well, uh, November 19th to the 26th, we have the honor of having Master Tetsuo Koyama come all the way from Japan wow. with three of his uh, priceless kimonos that will be on display here in Portals. The show will run Wednesday the 19th right through to Wednesday the 26th, so even open on the Sunday, 10 to 5 each day. And one of the things that Portals does so beautifully is connect with community. You have volunteers that come in here every day. And uh, tell us how you've connected with our tea farmers. Yeah, we grow tea here in the Cowichan Valley. Uh-huh, we do. Tell us how you've uh, connected with the tea farm. Well, in uh, honor of Master Koyama's visit, we have asked Tea Farm to create a special green tea blend um, uh, called the Master's Blend uh, that uh, is, is to help support and feature um, their, uh, yeah, their, green, their tea. green tea and and something special for this, you know, opportunity. I can't, I, I just love it so much that we grow tea here. I mean, it's just the coolest thing and it's so neat that they did this just for the show. Beautiful um, partnership yes. of celebrating, celebrating not only uh, locally but globally really coming together uh, if people want to find out more information about not only this particular workshop but all the cool things happening here at portals where do they go they can always go to our website www.cowichandvalleyartscouncil.ca uh, and uh, we list all of our events our, our shows our happenings there and or if you're in Duncan in the area just drop into the Island Savings Center and come in and see what we have on and our volunteers are always open to chatting about what the current show is and what's going to come what's to come in the future absolutely right now the show that's going on is a printmaking uh, show and you can come and talk to the printmakers themselves find out how it's done and what I want to say to everyone out there here's here is your homework my friends are you ready you're driving down the highway and you see the giant hockey stick and puck you don't just wave at it you stop you come in you meet the volunteers here you enjoy the gallery and then you get back in your car and you go all the way to Lake Couchin and you check out the Charles Dickens a Christmas Carol farce that's what I'm, that's your homework just put that on your to-do list uh, throughout the month of November and December and you'll be good to go. Um, thank you so much for having thank us you. out here and uh, thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the Couch and Valley. Women's clothing provided by Tulip Noir. Casual designer fashions. Men's wardrobe by DG Bremner & Co. Menswear and accessories. Hair services provided by Salon J.